Today we're going to take a look to lions hunting baboons, baboons eating impala cubs, and baboons kidnapping. Wait a second, this scene looks familiar. Look how the baboons and flamingos are getting along. So cute! Nah, just kidding. They can't get along. Contrary to popular belief, baboons are pretty dangerous. They're some aggressive omnivores. Actually, it's not common to see a baboon hunting a flamingo, but it seems that they take advantage of low water levels to attack. In fact, humans are way stronger than baboons. Since baboons are monkeys, they don't have the same level of strength as apes do, including humans. But their aggressive attitude makes them pretty dangerous, even for humans. The following videos may be disturbing to some viewers. Flamingos aren't the only dish on the menu today. We have also impala calves. The mom tries to save her calf, but it seems she can't bother the baboon even a little bit. Baboons are famous for their hunting ability at the savanna, and they have an impressive hunting success rate of up to 80%. They mostly prey on antelopes, such as impalas. Hunting is not a one-way thing, of course. There are some times that baboons are the target. Monkeys are good climbers for sure, but it seems they're not unbeatable. Look how these lionesses catch that baboon easily. You should have been faster, dude. The hunting list of lions goes on and on. This list includes baboons. They don't make the top of the list, but we can still say it's common to see a lion hunting a baboon. And as you can see, it's not that difficult to catch one. The top speed of a baboon is 48 kilometers per hour. If we consider that the top speed of a lion or lioness is 80 kilometers per hour, it's not a big surprise that baboons are an easy target. I mean, 48 kilometers per hour? Seriously? Usain Bolt made it up to 44 kilometers per hour, and he wasn't running from a lion. Baboons' weight can be up to 45 kilograms. So, Baboons can be a filling meal. I said earlier, sometimes baboons are the target. Let me rephrase that. Usually baboons are the target. Remember, as long as you're at the savanna, you're under the order of the king. Look at this baboon defending itself against a lioness. How naive. But sooner or later, it will go down. Just like that, lunchtime. Here we witness the first kill of a lion. It took him 11 minutes to kill that baboon. This may be the biggest life experience for the lion, but for the baboon, a painful struggle. But still the baboon never gives up. Even though he is deadly injured, he tries to strike back. Respect that one. Hunting activities typically start when lion cubs are only six weeks old just after weaning. The little ones learn by closely watching their mothers and other lionesses in the pride. A little cute fact. A lion can roar at the age of two. The first roaring attempts are maybe the cutest sound in the world. Lions are very protective animals when it's about their home. A male lion, whose main job is to defend his pride, uses his loud roar to warn off anything that might threaten his family. They also use roars to communicate with one another. Sometimes courage and faith can remove mountains. Look at this little fella chasing a lioness. This might surprise you, but adult baboons have a fame of killing lion and leopard cubs when they find them unattended by adults. Psychological superiority is not an advantage existing for humans. Do you see the confidence of the baboon? But this brave and historical moment suddenly ends with the attendance of three more lionesses. In a minute, the brave baboon turns into a meal. This is how nature works, I guess. Let me take you to the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Baboons killing lion cubs isn't an unusual event. The lion cubs pose a threat to the baboons when they get older. This is why baboons kill them. But in Kruger National Park, something strange happened. A baboon took a lion cub and didn't kill it. Quite the contrary, the baboon took care of it. Male baboons do a lot of grooming, but the care given to this lion cub was the same care given by female baboons to one of her own young, said the safari operator Kurt Schultz. 